哒哒哒哒哒哒哒哒哒哒哒哒哒哒哒哒哒哒哒哒哒哒哒哒哒哒哒哒哒哒哒哒哒哒哒哒哒哒哒哒哒哒哒哒哒哒哒哒哒哒哒哒哒哒哒哒哒哒哒哒哒哒哒哒哒哒哒哒哒哒哒哒哒哒哒哒哒哒哒哒哒哒哒哒哒哒哒哒哒哒哒I go with this topic because uh, I know that not only do several of my subscribers uh, game, obviously, right? This, <laughs> at this point in time, man, this day and age, who doesn't? But, um, you know, Twitch and everything else. But uh, I also happen to know that I have a lot of gaming channels that are subscribed to my channel. Now, I'm not entirely sure why. Um, I've never actively discussed gaming or anything like that or, or anything. So I don't know. But, uh, I do know that there are gaming channels. In fact, I had like two gaming channels subscribed to me in the past month. And, you know, it's kind of random. But, uh, it's whatever, man. We'll roll with it, right? Everybody and anybody is welcome to be part of Team HCU. Now look, man. I'm 39 years old. Alright, let me tell you something. I am the original gaming generation. And if you're in your mid to late 30s, why is my brake dragging? If you are in your mid to late 30s like I am, uh, you know what I'm talking about, man. Hey, a lot of these folks, these millennials and such that, uh, you know, they're gaming the day. A lot of these guys, like, grew up with, like, Xbox 360 and so forth. Look at here, man. I'm OG. I started out on a freaking Atari. Shit you not. Started out on Atari. Then I got the original Nintendo. Then the Super Nintendo. And then a decision had to be made, right? Nintendo kept on with the N64 and everything else. And uh, the Wii was much later, believe it or not. And then Sony came out with the PlayStation. And shortly thereafter, uh, Microsoft came out with the Xbox, as you know. Well, so, yeah, I stuck with Super, Super Nintendo for a long time. Uh, I didn't jump on the Sony train. A lot of, of my friends did, and that's fine, you know. Uh, they're all great platforms. But uh, I stuck with the Super Nintendo for all that time. And then when Microsoft came out with the original Xbox, that's the train I jumped on. And it might have a lot to do with me being an NVIDIA fan. Because um, somewhere in my early teens, I you know got my first computer, obviously. But once GPUs became a thing, man, I started uh, really getting into PC gaming. You know, back with the original GTX series of... Uh, of video cards and stuff. Always been a uh, big NVIDIA fan and of course NVIDIA uh, made the first graphics chipset for the original Xbox so you know here we go. But anyways fast forward to the uh, kind of the topic at hand and we'll talk about other stuff too besides the legendary Halo. So my Halo story goes way way back to the original Xbox. I had and I still have packed away the I still have packed away and stored somewhere the Halo Edition Xbox. Now you may be familiar. It was transparent green, came with the transparent green controller, and it was awesome. So anyways, this is like my, my uh, early college years, right? And I have fond, fond memories of the guys I lived with, right? So a bunch of us rented a house together back at Louisiana Tech and um, we would sit around we would sit around for hours for hours and hours on end playing like deathmatch and multiplayer different things um, 
Oh, no, no. This is before flat screen TVs, right? So we were playing original Halo in its heyday on like a traditional uh, tube television set, right? You know, the edges all are cut off and it sucked. But for us at the time, man, that was 32 inches of glory, right? <laughs> 32 inches of traditional gaming glory. But yeah, man. So, me and Halo and video gaming in general go way, way back. It's some of my fondest memories, you know, my early college days. All of us bossing that Halo. Um, and then, of course, Halo 2 came out and, and Halo Reach and all that. Now, interestingly enough, um, later on in life, way later on in life, when I got an Xbox One S, and this is like four years ago, <laughs> I know, I know, I, I had kids got married, y'all forgive me. Um, you know, Halo had come out for Xbox One, like, remastered. I think they call it Halo CE, like, Commemorative Edition or something. Well, I, I just never, uh, never got back on, in, back into the game, if you will, but, uh, long story short, fast forward to this past weekend, or actually, fast forward to a couple of months ago, it was announced that the Halo Master Chief Collection was going to be released for PC. Oh, imagine my excitement when all these memories came flooding back. And not to mention, I do have a gaming laptop. In fact, this video you're watching right now was edited on my gaming laptop. I've got an ASUS ROG Strix uh, gaming laptop. Uh, and, and especially since I plan on getting that SSD I talked about previously, which, you know, I got a Samsung Evo 860 um, terabyte SSD I installed here recently, and everything loads up so much faster, including games. I mean, super fast. So it's this big combination of excitement. I was like, yes. When I heard that Master Chief Collection was coming out for PC, I pre-ordered that thing, man, through Steam. And it was only 40 bucks. Now understand this, you're getting all the titles in the Master Chief Collection that was released for Xbox One, you're getting all that on PC. Now the only thing that sucks is that they're releasing all the titles in stages. So all that's out right now is Halo Reach, which this weekend I beat the campaign. It was awesome. And then I dabbled a little bit in some of the uh, multiplayer stuff, played some Team Deathmatch, uh, Capture the Flag, very nostalgic. Back in the gap, I was heavy into uh, Medal of Honor, that whole series, um, the original Call of Duties that came out and everything, and um, uh, a Battlefield, and when I got an Xbox One, uh, I, st I got back into all those titles, but console based, right? So for the longest time uh, after my first son was born, I'd stay up late playing uh, a lot of Call of Duty, uh, Black Ops and stuff, multiplayer, I was real heavy into that. But the thing I was into the most, because I have a great appreciation for um, accurate, modern um, weaponry and stuff, stuff that's not fiction, you know? Anyways, uh, Battlefield 4. Battlefield 4 is the best, in my opinion, first-person shooter um, from all aspects of the game. The realism aspect, all that. Battlefield 4, man. I haven't played it in a long time, but dude, I am ranked super high on Xbox Live in Battlefield 4. And so I find myself totally transferring my uh, my old console gaming habits directly over to PC. Um, Assassin's Creed, big, big one that I was into for a long time. And you know what? I haven't played it in a little while, um, especially since Master Chief Collection came out. But um, yeah, the whole Assassin's Creed series I was heavy into. Call of Duty, Battlefront. Um, I haven't played Call of Duty on PC, and I probably won't. Um, I don't even have the new Modern Warfare for PC or console. Just, uh, you know, there's too, too much other stuff. Um, Wolfenstein. They came out with the new Wolfenstein series. Um, let's see, Black Friday, Steam had 
um, Wolfenstein 2 The New Colossus on like man it was like 50% no it was 75% uh, clearance and so normally 60 bucks which it was throughout the entire year practically I, uh, I got it for $15 so I was pretty excited about that and it's just been sitting on my hard drive installed um, waiting for me to play it because uh, I was right in the middle of Assassin's Creed Unity and um, so I haven't even started the new Colossus and then Master Chief Collection or at least Halo Reach part of it uh, dropped I think it was December 19th and uh, you know I don't always have the most time to game because you know I do have kids and stuff it, it's a situation where you know you got to pause mid game and get up and tend to the children that's fine it's called adulting <laughs> For all you young Thundercats who got attracted by the topic, the, the name of the video, whatever I decided to name it regarding Halo, um, it's called adulting. Yes, you can still game as an adult, especially when you grew up with it like I did, you know? We are the original OG gaming generation. Um, it just comes with the understanding that you, know, you can't game hardcore like you did in the past when you have other responsibilities. But anyway, so now that I'm waiting for Halo CE to drop, I think I'm going to get on that new Colossus, knock it out, and then by the time I'm done with that, because it takes me so long to finish a campaign, guys, you don't understand. <laughs> the whole adulting thing, it might take me a month to finish a campaign. Just because I play when I can. Uh, so, I'm going to bust that new Colossus, wrap it up, and uh, by that time, I, I, I presume Halo CE will probably drop. Then I'll jump into that. And at some point in time, i got to finish Assassin's Creed Unity. And, uh, and move on to the next in that series. But anyways, guys, this probably ended up a little bit lo longer winded than I anticipated. Um, but I am most curious, all you subscribers, what kind of gaming are you into? I know some of you Twitch. Some of those gaming channels that are subbed to me. Teammates see you, baby. Some of y'all Twitch. Drop a comment down below. Let me know. What do you game? What you play? excited you are share my enthusiasm for the master chief collection on pc guys it is a dreary freaking monday morning if you enjoyed the topic and discussion on gaming drop a comment down below smash the like button and subscribe if you haven't already this has been me as always folks and that has been you this is team acu half look up peace i'm out of here catch you on the next one good bye, -bye.